William Tyndale, born in 1494 in a village in Gloucestershire, a Protestant Christian teacher and a man of faith. England was under the reign of Henry VIII. Oxford educated and a great linguist, he spoke French, Greek, Hebrew, German, Italian, Spanish and English. That's a lot of languages. The Roman Catholic Church dominated Western Europe in the 16th century. The Church wanted the Bible to remain in Latin even though it could not be understood, discouraging believers to read it on their own. A prohibition was enforced forbidding translation of the Bible into native languages. Tyndale greatly objected to this and fought against it. He passionately believed that there was no barrier between believers and the Word of God. He was inspired to translate the Bible into English so that people could read it personally. He was not alone in his efforts. Others had the same idea. Martin Luther, a great figure in the Protestant Reformation, came to strongly disapprove of some of the teachings and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. Questions like, how do you get to heaven? And how can I be saved? Needed to be defined. Both Martin Luther and Tyndale knew you cannot buy your way into heaven or be saved through any good deeds, but only through faith by believing in Jesus and his work on the cross. Along with the central teachings that the Bible is the central source of religious authority shaped the core of Protestantism. Through much opposition and persecution, Tyndale was eventually martyred by strangulation and being burnt to the stake. His courageous efforts were certainly not in vain. In 1611, with the help of 54 scholars, Tyndale's translations produced the King James Bible and was the first to be printed into English. In 2002, Tyndale was placed at number 26 in the BBC's poll of the 100 Greatest Britons.